Hey everybody. I wanted to give you my updated preparation steps for resin printing. I've uh, been working on making this as efficient as possible and getting a good result. I am printing in my basement where temperature can uh, affect the result of resin printing. Resin likes to be warm, so I've got the Anycubic uh, Mono X here. And here's what I'm, I've been doing lately. I'm going to first walk through what I did. So the machine was perfectly clean. There was no resin in here. It was just sort of in storage mode. I don't resin print a lot. Only when I'm looking to do something very high detail. For the rest of the time, I usually use my FDM printer. So took my resin, shook it up, of course. Nice. Poured it in. And what I used to do, and I think what a lot of people do, is they heat they heat the resin bottle itself with some kind of heater uh, or just warm this up in some way. What I've been doing lately is, and you can see I sort of keep one dirty hand, if you will, and one clean hand. My other hand is holding this, but, uh, and so I try to keep, keep one hand for touching the resin elements and a clean hand for touching things like paper towels, you know, USB sticks and other things. Anyway, what I have here is a little heater hanging from where the build plate will hang, right? So I just made a little bracket on this heater. And I'll show you from underneath. It's just a small heater. I'll Once I pull this off, I'll show you what this heater is. And, and here's the bracket. It's really just a kind of piece of metal strapping that I bent around and put a couple of screws in. I'll show you this heater when I'm done. But what I do is I put this heater on top of here some people have a small heater that they run inside the printer. Uh, I don't really have space for something like that, and I'm concerned leaving that unsupervised. The goal really is to get the, get the resin nice and soft, and this really only needs to run. You can see how, how nice that is. Uh, and so, just give that a nice little stir. I wouldn't run this too long because you don't want to have anything uh, hazardous happening. So I'm going to I want to get this out of here pretty quickly. Let me just move this for now. And I'm going to stop this. And we'll pull it off and take a look. What I'm doing here is I've got this little heater running. It's called a My Heat. I think you can find this on Amazon pretty reasonably priced. Uh, it's just a small heater. And like I said, I put a bracket on the back. Just, I mean, it's it's a little overbuilt, but that's kind of how I do things. That This is probably very excessive metal strapping, but um, it's just a piece of bendable metal strapping. I bent it around to the shape. And I'll also run this. Uh, I'm going to put this up a little higher. I'm just kind of run this in the vicinity to keep this area warm while this does its printing. So that's that's my recent setup. I think it helps my resin get up to a much more usable temp quickly without really without heating the plastic bottle, which I wasn't comfortable doing. Like I didn't uh, I used to sometimes just have the bottle sitting here, run the heater on the bottle and I didn't really feel like that was giving me a good kind of uniform heat even if you swish it around and leave the bottle here. I wanted to sort of heat the resin itself and kind of heat this heat this space with this heater. And again, I'm going to keep this running just to keep the environment warm while this prints. Uh, I, I would not run this too long. Five minutes, maybe max, when you're heating just the vat like this. I hope this helps somebody. This is how I've been doing it lately with a pretty good result.